Hey Avantic here, welcome back to yet another video for Subnautica Below Zero and today's topic is growing plants in this game. So first of all let's position ourselves on the map so we are at the crash site exit which is the first spot where you are able to enter the waters of the planet 4546B. Alright so without further ado let's enter the sea truck and I will explain what you need in order to grow some plants in this game. The first spot we are going to visit is Outpost Zero and this is significant because it has the Habitat Builder, the interior coral bed and a basic plant pot which can also be used to grow some plants and make your base look nicer. Now we are going to head east. What we are going to do is follow this wall along so you just hug this wall until you find the cave entrance. It's not really hard to find Outpost Zero and once you get there you will find a little cave which will lead to the bay where you will exit in order to get on dry land of Outpost Zero. Thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get more videos like this. And why exactly is growing your own plants so important? So there are two things. You can grow some plants in order to get some food and water. So these will be very important to get yourself fed and hydrated really quickly without having to explore and look for other food sources. And the second thing you will need plants for is to build some equipment and other items. We are at Outpost Zero so let's go ahead and climb the stairs and on top of them you will find the Habitat Builder tool. Okay, now that we have the Habitat Builder we will go right ahead and enter. So we open this hatch over here and once we are inside we will go to the left and look in the corner of the room and there we will find the first plant pot. There's also one over here which is exactly like the one we have found on the left so yeah you cannot scan it in twice. In this room over here we have a large indoor grow bed which we will also scan in. Oh sorry I read that wrong it's an interior grow bed. What you want to do is grab this fruit over here in order to get some seeds to place a lantern tree inside your own base. Also remember to go ahead and scan everything in Outpost Zero but what we are going to do is grab this multi-purpose room blueprint and go right ahead to the room next to it and grab this large room blueprint as well. New blueprint synthesized. We are back at the starting location of the game so the next thing we are going to grab is the exterior grow bed. As you can see there's the exit behind us so let's go right ahead and jump back into our sea truck. If you have a compass then all you have to do is position yourself towards south southwest and go exactly in a straight line you will hit the location where we have to go. But if you don't have a compass then follow this path exactly and you should not miss the exterior grow bed location. So this grow bed is going to be used to grow stuff that needs to be placed underwater. So if you need ribbon plants or creep vine clusters then you can grow these in the exterior grow bed. We should be passing above the twisty bridges biome which is right below us right now. And we are looking for large bands. You will see them and you cannot miss them. And if we boost up a little bit you will start to see this large loop right on the left and the little loop right below us. So go right in between these and you should hit a piece of land which contains two platforms with some exterior grow beds. Alright so we are here, let's jump out and start scanning these in. You can go right ahead and pull out any knife, it can be a heat blade or it can be a regular survival knife and if you hit this you'll get some seeds in order to plant some new ribbon plants. We have everything we need so let's go ahead and start planting. 
I have built a provisional base, let's go right ahead and take out our builder tool and start placing this exterior grow bed. So you can place these on the bottom of the ocean, you can also place these on platforms like such and if you want you can also place these on top of structures so you can place it anywhere you can even place it on top of a hatch on this roof of the multi-purpose room or even go right ahead and place it on top of the large room's roof if you want the exterior grow bed can also be used to plant some land-based plants so if you place it on land or on this iceberg over here on this iceberg over here game let me jump out uh iceberg jump okay there we go and you place it down as such and the same as underwater it will have the same amount of space where you can put some seeds and grow some plants let me show you what can be planted in the exterior grow bed underwater so the first thing we can plant is a creep vine seed cluster and you cannot plant this chinese potato so let's go right ahead and plant this red wort seed also this cave bush seed let's see what do we have here and the next thing we can plant is this spiral plant seed this antony seed whatever you call it you can plant a gel sac a ribbon plant and this deep lily mushroom. So the next thing is planting stuff inside your base. So let's go right ahead and get this indoor grow bed. So yeah, let's plant this lantern tree. Let's put down this Chinese potato. Let's put down the shrub nut and a fevered pepper. Let me place the rest of these seeds in the plant pot. So we have this Preston's plant, marble melon, and the frozen vase plant. So I have just noticed that I forgot to place this mushroom seed in the exterior grow bed so let's go back and place that in. Now we just need time to have these grow out so it will take one day and night cycle to finish. Alright so I have skipped ahead in the video in order to show you guys what happens after 24 hours. So actually all of the plants have stopped growing, they finished growing at this point. So you can go right ahead and hit this with the knife in order to make more gel sacs and more spiral plants. So get this chunk replanted again and you can grow as many of these plants as you wish so you will no longer have to look for them around the map. And obviously all the plants that have fruits on them you will just use the fruits to replant them you don't have to hit them with a blade but for the chinese potato and such then you will need to hit them with a knife in order to make more of them obviously thanks for watching till the end if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful remember to drop a like down below and if you want to see more videos from this channel make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified about any future uploads I also have a Discord server, so if you want to join and hang out in the Discord, check out the link in the description down below. This is Avantech, signing off. Until next time.